Stakeholders in the old uh, Niger Delta region and environmentalists appeal to the federal government to carry out immediate assessment on the region situation to save inhabitants' livelihood. They made the appeal during the meeting of stakeholders second Niger Delta alternative convergence with support from Oil Watch Africa and Home of Import Hackett, the River State Capital. The group urged federal lawmakers to ensure the review of the Petroleum Industry Act and also eliminate a section which criminalized communities and remove authorities given to all companies. We also are demanding immediate release of the forensic audit of the NDC publicly and a review of the laws governing that agency. We expect those coming to office to address in clear terms and prepare, uh, um, clear, prepare fraud response mechanisms that are workable and that are real issues that keep repeating across the Niger Delta and other parts of the country. The main impact of petroleum production on land, livelihood, has been a major contentious issue between local communities, oil companies, and governments. In assessing the consequences, of the region's environmental challenges, we must not gloss over the relative newness of environmental concerns. The point of fact is that for the government and industry, the driving force for any period of production into the 1990 was profit rather than environmental concerns. Hence, the primary focus was on oil revenue sharing between the three pairs of government. No conscious effort was made to value the enormous cost of oil and gas activities to the environment and communities. Today, as I'm talking, the divestment is talking about is affecting us seriously. They are going to the river and taking over the uh, ocean and partitioning the ocean as they partition Africa. How many of you are aware of the environmental dangers happening in the environment in the ocean and seas? I therefore call on you to inform all of you but there is a great danger that is coming. Not ordinarily want to talk about coastal uh, water. It's going to be dangerous because I refer to it as oceanification. Call on the policy makers and the dreamers of our leadership. We need to be, we need to be talking and our talking needs to be put in action. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.